it's one cat 25. And it broke the doggone screws off the tree again. Must be pretty heavy. This is the third one we caught here. It was up there, it fell. And then fell away away, it's rolled. And it was where was it? It was up here. That tree? Yeah. Yeah, it was in this one right it was there. Around the corner. It's kind of weird how it lands right here. Yeah, I don't see where they're leaking though, so it's like something was rubbing on the top of the box. That's weird. I'm some big old blocky bees. Yellow bringing in pollen. I'm like, well, we'll check one last time. I put the screen on top of the box, so got the sun. He loves doing this too. It's weird how that that's there. <laughs> Whatever's left, they can go over in that other trap and start cleaning that one out. And we got another trap in that tree, that big tree right there, and there's just, it's never caught nothing. Isn't that weird? They're actually being nice. Huh? So they're actually being nice. Yeah, they're definitely domestic. Easy. She's heavy. She's heavy? Oh yeah, she looks heavy. <laughs> really warm. Looks like there's one more hole in the bottom. Maybe. Yeah. Right there. Is that they coming out of that hole? Yeah. Wanna wedge something in there or squirt this in there? Or both? Now I get me. And foam gum really comes in handy for beekeeping. You get like in the fall when you're sealing boxes up and stuff. Any cracks when you're like doing honey extraction, putting on boards. I mean, it's got countless uses. It's black, so it blends in. Really good stuff. Your black, buy it online. Wildlife Control Supplies sells it actually, that's where we get it from. Alrighty, I guess that's about it. <laughs>